Hi, I'm Cindy Moline, CEO of Back to Your Root Soil Solutions. Since 2006, we've worked with producers to grow better food. It all starts with healthy soil. B is for biology, the life in the soil. Once the soil is flocculated and porous, we are starting to create the environment to support the life force in the soil. The life force is made up of five different groups of soil microbes. Dr. Elaine Ingham spent many hours behind the microscope identifying these groups. These groups are bacteria, fungus, nematodes, protozoa, and microarthropods. Each group has a different characteristic, job description, and an environment they can live in. As the soil becomes more unbalanced, the larger microbes will move in as the smaller microbes can no longer function. Bacteria and fungus are the most efficient microorganisms, but require an environment that supports their existence. In a teaspoon of healthy soil, it is suggested that there could be from 1 million to 5 million soil microbes. For the sake of this discussion, let's go with 3 million. These microbes can do a multitude of things to create healthy soil and ultimately a very healthy plant. These jobs and duties can include disease suppression, nutrient recycling, mineral stabilization, feeding the plant, holding water, securing nitrogen and carbon, sourcing nutrients as the plant calls for them, reproducing, and energy regulation. Did you know that each of these three million organisms can absorb and contain half a millivolt of energy from the sun? They hold it in their body until they die and then it is released into the soil. This is 1.5 volts of energy per every teaspoon of soil. This regular flow of energy allows for the plant to have access to a continuous energy supply that usually allows the plant to finish its growth and reproduction quicker and with better quality. We can check the microbe efficiency using a conductivity meter. When soil microbes are healthy and active, the soil conductivity will be consistent throughout the growing season and throughout the soil profile. Soil conductivity should be between 250 ergs and 1100 ergs during the growing season. Ergs is a term Dr. Carrie Reams used. It translates to energy released per gram per second. The key to harnessing this incredible workforce is to create the environment. The soil must be less than 200 PSI, have 25% air in the soil structure, and a continuous supply of nutrients and food. The soil microbes work synergistically with the plant. When you dig up a plant growing in healthy soil, you will find that there is a formation around the roots. This formation is made up of soil microbes, soil aggregates and particles, and nutrients. It usually is an ideal environment for root growth, mineralization, and the soil microbes. It is here that carbon is stabilized, water and nutrients are made available to the plant, and the soil aggregates are formed. As the roots move deeper into the soil, the more carbon and soil aggregates are released into the soil profile. 